Well, this is Bishop R.J. Edwards, and it's indeed a pleasure to be back with you on this radio station. I know that you're going through your tests and your trials at this time when COVID-19, the master plague, is on the land. I want you to know that God will lift you up, turn your life around in spite of what we see. God is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Stay tuned as I go to church. We have been preaching the word of God. I've been taking the time to think about the signs of the time and, and what is really going on in our world and some serious dangerous things are happening right now as I speak. Hospitals in the United States, in France, and other parts of the world, they cannot cope with the amount of COVID cases they're having. At the same time, they have no space in the morgue to put dead bodies. It's a whole lot of stuff taking place worldwide. Confusion in the hearts of many people. And many people are crying. They're dying and they're... They are so sad. I want to extend my love to those who are going through their moments, even in this country. Of course, it's very painful to know that there's still some people here who are bogged down with this virus. But it's not only virus that is affecting this country. What about murder? Because it would seem as though, though the COVID cases are here, since COVID started, we have more people killed violently than that that's killed by covid so therefore well, there's a lot of concerns that we're faced with as god's people and people are fretting literally worrying because of what is taking place but i stand here today as the servant of god to tell you that god wants you to know that you should not worry yourself it's not time to worry it's time to shut in with god God wants us to shut in ourselves with him. That's the word I've been hearing. Not to worry, but shut yourself in with God. I hope that you're ready to, to step to another level where by which you begin to hear the voice of God speaking. One of the worst things that you could ever experience is that people who are faced with troubles and trials and can't hear the voice of God. You can't worship when you can't hear the voice of God. When you can't hear God speaking to you, it affects your very prayer life. I want you to hear me. God is saying that we ought to look beyond what's taking place and get linked with God. Get God in you. Get God over you. Get God around you. And if you do that, you won't have a problem about anything that is happening on earth. You know, one of the things the Lord has been teaching me is that we should not be praying that God would move COVID. I'm talking about the church, the kingdom people. We should be praying and said, Lord, let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. What is God saying about this? God is saying, my people must be tuned in to me to hear my voice. Yes, let your kingdom come now. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done now. That's the prayer the church should be praying. I want you to understand that I don't pray over a money. I don't beg God for money. I don't beg God for a new car, a new house. What I pray is that God let your kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Let your kingdom come where I am. Some people are praying over so many things. But when the kingdom of God is established in your life you don't have to worry about anything you're living a kingdom life you're living giving God praise morning noon and night 24 hours a day you're tuned in with heaven well hell is vexed but let hell be vexed as much as it wants to be vexed you're in tune with God that's all that matters it doesn't matter who is in the White House it doesn't matter who is in Jamaica House it doesn't matter who is your MP or your caretaker the important thing is is that if Jesus Christ is the Lord of your life everything is gonna be alright all we got to do 
do now is just say yes Lord yes to your will and yes to your way I want to have a connection with God now I want to be connected with Jesus Christ I want God to take a charge over my life I want the Holy Ghost to bark in me God's glory must reverb in me God's anointing must be rich in my life you can't come a church dead now not in this time of COVID you can't come a church cold and lukewarm you gotta come to the house of the God that we are serving with your hands lifted up and your mouth filled with praise and your heart filled with thanksgiving and you start shouting bless the Lord oh my soul and all that is in me bless his holy name lift your hands and shout your hallelujah see when you understand what his kingdom's perspective when you understand what his kingdom's responsibility when you get to understand what the kingdom is all about you don't worry over earth things earthly things will fail earthly things will lose their value but praise be to God it is only what we do for Christ my aim now is to go from community to community to tell somebody about Jesus that he lives in the midst of COVID he lives in the midst of economic hardships he lives oh when sicknesses and death is around he still lives he's a God in the morning he's a God in the evening he's a God of the good times and he's a God of the bad times somebody need to declare him he's alive and well I can feel him in my hands I can feel him in my feet I can feel him all over me in the midst of COVID some of us are discovering that we are being blessed more than ordinary since COVID start you have not gone to bed hungry why because the God that you're serving is your provider he knows how to lift you up and turn your life around just shout your hallelujah everybody since COVID some people have lost their hallelujah some people's hallelujah used to sound rich but since COVID them hallelujah get weak them pumping up my hallelujah even putting on some more bass in me, hallelujah. Because me no want me, hallelujah, if you get weak. I want to lift up my prayers to the king of kings and the lord of lords. And now the Rasta man, Naya Bingi. And now him for no say, we serve the true and living God. Not Rastafari, but we serve the king of kings. Not Buddha, not Muhammad. We serve the king of kings. Somehow to come to church look so weak, cold and anemic. Some people act like they don't have no God. But excuse me, me load up me load up me come to church with God I may mean, I get more God before me leave church I come to church with some hallelujahs and before me leave church I going to have some more hallelujah when me walk to Spanish town hallelujah must drop off of me when I go home my house must welcome my hallelujahs open your mouth and shout some hallelujah church now can be cool Church now must be hot. Church must be on fire. Some people COVID won't follow you come to church. If you leave it upon you. But when they come to church, you must be so hot that no COVID can catch you. You must be so hot on fire that no powers from hell can harm you. And no weapon that is assigned against you must have any dominion. Open your mouth and shout God at church. The Lord has been speaking into my spirit and said in these times of hardships, in these times of all kind of deliberating problem, and now church must be ready to step in a something, step in a prayers. Open your mouth everybody, shout your hallelujah loudly. Let the enemy back off because there are some spirits that follow you come to church. Some evil spirit follow you come to church. But you kill it, you mash it up, you destroy it, you send it back. I don't know who put some spirit upon you to disturb you. But in the name of Jesus, I come back to tell you that you shall not die. But you shall live and you shall declare the works of the almighty God. Send back some stuff. I can't come to church. Like me to know whom you worship. 
I said I cannot come into the house of God and act like I'm a poor thing. I'm a, not a beggar. I'm not a poor thing. I'm not pauperized spiritually or physically or financially. God set me up. Plant my feet upon a rock to stand. So excuse me if I bust out a praise in the house of the living God. If I shout my hallelujah. Is excited, I'm excited that God lives in me. Somebody shout a praise if you're one of them that God lives in you. I'm one of them who the Lord speaks through, through dreams, you know. You see, persons who dreams have the gift of prophecy. If you're a dreamer, you have the prophetic inside of you. I dreamt about eight dogs, four in one set and four in the other set and them come after me. But thank God none of them could bite me. Me if I use iron and lick them on them head. I come by to tell somebody that no weapon that farm. Come on, I'm getting mad. I'm getting mad. I'm getting crazy. I'm sending back a blow back to the sender. You are your dogs. I send you back to your sender. You evil spirit, I send you back. You spirit of the python, I send you back. In Jesus' name, I send you back. Let the Holy Ghost take charge. Let the anointing break yoke now. It's not your head knowledge that breaks yokes. It's not your education that breaks yokes. It's not how much money you have in the bank that breaks yokes. It's not the kind of car you drive that breaks yoke. It's the anointing that you have that breaks yoke. Destroy them. Somebody must be set free. Lift your hands and shout freedom. Men, I know how you come at church. Men, I, men, I know how you leave your house. But now that you're in the house of God, the presence of the Lord is over your life. The anointing is separating you from your defeat. Even if you have to put on a show. Put on a show if you have to put on a show. Because there's a guy named Muhammad Ali. When him decides for show off, say, I him are the world number one. The moment him step out, you know, him opponent start feel afraid and frightened. Because the man step out and I say, I am the champion. I going to sting like a bee. And I going to fly like a butterfly. Him opponent hear them kind of talk there. And as a man step out, Muhammad Ali start knock fist. Some of you need to come at church. And if your enemy follow you, come at church. Knock fist. Knock fist in the realm of the anointing. Knock fist in the realm of the Holy Spirit. Let the hell house that has an assignment against your life back off. Come on. Somebody praise God. You're not porting. If you need this message now, text me now at 378 zero three eight two that's right text not call text three seven eight zero three eight two are you tired of the violence in our nation and the decaying family values? Well, join this movement for change. You're invited to attend the 10,000 virtual men's conference on Sunday, the 14th of March at 5.30 p.m. Hosted by the Portmore Ministers Fraternal, backed by the Jamaica Association of Full Gospel Churches, several church groups, and fraternals across the island under the theme, Men Mentoring the Nation. Speakers, Reverend Carl Henling, Dr. Ronald Hamilton, Pastor Michael Jones, and Dr. Michael Coombs. Music Ministers, Rondell Positive, Kevin. Kevin Dalswell and Jermaine Edwards. Join us on Zoom, Facebook, YouTube on the Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry page. Sponsored by Powerfay Television, Love TV, Gospel JA, MTM TV, and Love TV. Please call 876-378-0382 for more information. Walk in a church, mash up. And go back home, mash up. Now work. Walk in a church, weak. And go back home, weak. It's not working. I sense God is doing something for the body of Christ. I say, I sense God doing something for the body of Christ. But it's only that some of you don't know. It is the most gracious time for the church. The most powerful time for the body of Christ. But many of us don't know. We're fretting like the world. Since COVID, I to look weak and look sick. Fred said COVID going to catch you. But you must be so strong and so powerful. You must wear your mask. And you must keep your distance. But at the same time, you must tell COVID, I am a child of God. And no weapon that formed against me prosper. So the Lord has been digging some stuff in my spirit. And you know what God has been telling me? 
He said, look at the children of Israel. Look at them. When they were plagued with their plagues and their dilemma, what did they do? You see, scriptures are written for our learning. And if people have gone through it, what did they do? The Bible tells me in the book of Exodus chapter 12, that when the children of Israel were faced with their plagues, God did something for them which is remarkable. Who were they? They were Israelites. Which means that they are people of the most high God. They are not ordinary people. They are people of the most high God. And when they were faced with their dilemma, when they were faced with their plagues, hear what God tell them in Exodus chapter 12. He said, Moses, I want you to get the blood and post it on the lintels and on the doors and tell them, said, I am passing through. So they must stay inside, stay locked. So I didn't hear one of the children of Israel look through the window and curse the plague. What they did was to stay inside under the covering. Can I tell somebody what you ought to do in this season? Stay covered under the blood. Shout the blood. Worship God. Magnify God. Let the devil know that you, you shall not die, but you shall live. You got to speak word. Speak word. Speak word. Open your mouth and speak word. Somebody in this time, God, is waiting on you to be strong, not to be a weakling. So the plague passed through and not one of them was killed. Can I tell you? Plague didn't hurt them. The plague blessed them. Plague caused them to be prosperous. In the midst of the plagues that is on the earth, you are to come out of something. Come out of something. Can I talk to somebody? What happened to the children of Israel? They came out of their bondage in the midst of the plague. Fear had to let them go because they realized that them people are not easy, they're not ordinary. Your neighbor must realize, say, you're not ordinary. Are you not easy? The presence of the Lord must be upon you. That people say, yes, yes, you're a child of God. If you realize, say, you're not ordinary. Glorify God, no man. Just magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. Somebody shout a hallelujah. This mass thing, the pretty in a man. Can't even see some amount. Good. How the mass ugly one up. Because beautiful women now wearing masks and the mask turn them ugly. And some men who were ugly before are wearing masks and they're more ugly now. And the mass do that. I've never, for past year, me hardly see anybody a smile at church. And that's what I like to see. Because when I see your teeth, you tell me, say, you are right. But no, I don't know who are right for who not all right. Because everybody stops smiling. The ugly mask hide it. This mask thing is not of God. It is of the devil. I mean, I tell him, say, if you stop wearing a mask, become aware of mine and I keep my distance. But I'm telling you, it's not of God. It's from the pit of hell. And we must get ready to resist the powers of hell and send it back to the sender. Do you know see what mass do? Mass make you look ugly. Mass hide on a smile and on a laughter. And this COVID thing come for take away on a social life. And we can't hug no more church. And we can't shake nobody's hand again. And that's what the plague is saying. But God says to you, church of the living God, I want to do something better for you in this season. Cover yourself. Cover yourself. Cover yourself. Cover yourself. Get ready for your deliverance. Church, can I hear somebody praise the Lord? I don't know if I want to say some things that is about to happen. Because the children of Israel coming out of Egypt speaks of the rapture of the church. 
I don't know if you understand sir. this could be a test to see how some church people handling God and their Christianity can I talk to somebody in the house because there's a lot of people backslide since COVID then the business with church and then the business with God and then the pray no more but thanks be to God for those of us who are rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord nothing shall separate us from the love of God when we're getting excited more about God somebody lift your hands and shout a hallelujah if you get excited more shout about say I feel the anointing that's why you know the Lord say start teaching people about the kingdom prayer because where the children of Israel were they were inside their Goshen secured by God it's not written in scripture where none of them worried over the plague they were safe in God's arms and that's what I'm saying to us no man don't quarrel with the people who are quarreling about the plague don't fuss with the people who are fuss about the plague and don't complain with them who are complaining about the plague all he say, thy kingdom come God thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven when you start to pray those kind of prayers it change your focus from earthly things some bad my neighbors are being bad with you but you not look upon them you say God your kingdom come your will be done on earth some family members just hate you and come mess with you you not look upon them all you say thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven and when people don't understand what that mean you got to go to the book of Ephesians chapter 1 look at verse 1 down to verse 4 and you understand that God has already blessed us in heavenly places when we were with him in heaven he has already blessed us and the Bible tells me in Ephesians chapter 1 that we were chosen in him before the foundation of the world we are not ordinary people we are no weak chicken we are no pauperized people we are we are blessed people anointed people Blessed before we come out of your mother's womb. Blessed before your mama knew your papa. Blessed before your grandparents knew our grandparents. God knew us before we were born. Excuse me if I'm excited. He has established my end from the beginning according to Isaiah 46 and verse 10. I'm the blessed child of God. Don't walk like you're a poor thing. Even if you don't have a penny in your pocket, open your mouth and declare it. I'm blessed beyond limit. If you need this message now, text me now at 378 0382. That's right. Text, not call. Text 378 0382. Are you tired of the violence in our nation and the decaying family values? Well, join this movement for change. You're invited to attend the 10,000 virtual men's conference on Sunday, the 14th of March at 5.30 p.m. Hosted by the Portmore Ministers Fraternal, backed by the Jamaica Association of Full Gospel Churches, several church groups and fraternals across the island under the theme, Men Mentoring the Nation. Speakers, Reverend Carl Henling, Dr. Ronald Hamilton, Pastor Michael Jones, and Dr. Michael Coombs. Music Ministers, Rondell Positive, Kevin Dalswell and Jermaine Edwards. Join us on Zoom, Facebook, YouTube on the Bishop Rowan Edwards Minister page. Sponsored by Power Free Television, Love TV, Gospel JA, MTM TV, and Love TV. Please call 876 378 0382 for more information. This is Bishop RJ Edwards stopping by to let you know that the fasting service will not be at the train station this week, but we will be at One Gobbly Drive. That's where fasting will be held this week. Please note that transportation leaves the train station to Gobbly Drive starting at 9 a.m. I'm looking forward to see you at One Gobbly Drive where the power of God will be evident. And the Spirit of God will bring deliverance. Hundreds will be delivered and the power of God shall search through every bondage fixing to destroy them in the powerful name of Jesus. So look forward to see you at One Gobbly Drive at the Lighthouse Assembly moving from the train station this week we will be picking you up from the train station and taking you to one gobbly drive at the lighthouse assembly starting 9 a.m the mark of the beast is on us i have the book that i'm promoting the book that says 
say no to that mark by Pastor Leighton D. Smith. Hear me. Every one of you need to get this book. Leighton Smith was a good friend of mine, and he wrote this book. Look at some of the other topics that are in the book. The emergence of the one world government, the European Union, secret organizations promoting the new world order, the coming caste society, the century of the chip, the significance of numbers in the Bible. Don't compromise. Say No to the Mark book is now available at Source of Light, and that's at Hagley Park Plaza in Halfway Tree, or can be picked up at the Lighthouse Assembly Church Office, One Garbally Drive, Spanish Town. Just text the numbers 3780382, and we'll give you directions. God bless you. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards reminding you that every morning at 6 a.m. I am on Zoom, Facebook, and YouTube. Come to my YouTube page at Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry. That's Bishop R-O-W-A-N Ministry. Big things are happening in our prayer meeting. People from around the world come together every morning at 6 a.m. Please join me. YouTube, Facebook, and Zoom. Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry. Just go find that page now. R-O-W-A-N Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry page. Please. This is Bishop R.J. Edwards saying goodbye and checking out now. But remember, join me next week. Same station, 10.30 p.m.